So Shea Moisture was super nice and sent me a big box of products. Let me see what's in here. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it's so much stuff. Okay, I thought I was gonna be able to go through here and like show you guys every single thing, but this is a lot. I don't even know if y'all wanna sit through all this. Thank you, Shea Moisture. says it on the app the uh, GPS we're almost past it it's still worth ten the ten dollars watch yeah no it's as soon as we pass whatever it is out here yeah. in the room it's gonna See, speed back up I have not eaten all day long and she greedy <laughs> someone wanted to make me wait so we got all the way here I don't know why she's saying that because she wanted to wait. I told her to No, eat. you said, okay, can't you on. just wait? You see how she cut me off? <laughs> no, she don't even know what she wants. Oh, yeah. Hold on. I'll be back. Mm -hmm. We were thinking, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, here, here. yeah I got it. I got it. Uh oh. Oh, it's right here. Right here. How are you doing? 10 anyone? Hey, all right. Thank you. Mm hmm. I'm going to have to put on I've been here one time years ago and Alex has never been here. I don't know what we were thinking. You want the burger, the chicken? Just rolling up to the <laughs> to the menu. We didn't have any idea what we wanted. We gonna it's, gonna, out. it's gonna be good though. I think it's gonna be good. Let me turn this light on. That's better. We're gonna be back out here ordering more food. We ain't get enough. Well at this point I waited so long to eat, I kinda lost my appetite. Yeah, and once again, I didn't tell you don't eat. Well, what I he eat, told me so was, um, he said, I can no, no, wait. No, Why no, don't no. you just wait? You know, we can go on the way, like go, stop somewhere once we get close enough. So oh, then no, I was no, just no. like, let's I said, just. I said, we can eat at Waffle House. And then we saw Waffle House. And then what did you say? I no, said, I think wait. we should get further south so because I didn't want to eat. I'm exonerated. Someone told me. Thank you. Someone exonerated. told me. No. <laughs> someone told me the someone Virginia told me. Waffle House. I don't know who. Thank you. You too. Now we gotta get home. Look, we don't know how to get home. Evie don't got that. Hold on. I got some GPS. Hold on. Yeah, well, that was just, you know, pretty. That was like a lot to handle right there in that five minutes. I don't. They need a menu or something so that you can like look before you pour it up to the window because that went super fast. Yeah. And this large fry is not even a large. Like. Yeah. So. You can see. You're just not gonna show me. This is. Oh. I'll show you. That's the large fry. That's the large fry that we're going to be sharing because we thought it was going to be a large fry, like a big thing of fries. But I don't want to pull it out come with the Yo, fries. When somebody, is, when somebody, when sizes, like your burgers are like regular, huge, ginormous. Oh you know yeah, I mean? they have a like small, that. regular, fries huge. About to be like a basket. <laughs> I know. I thought it was going to be like. You know how uh, KFC give you a large 
potato wedge, just like a pound of french fries. Like, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. But that's okay. How much was this? $10? Yeah. We didn't even get anything to drink. We were so frazzled. Like, I didn't see oh no my God. Combo they, did you see all those milkshakes? You would have loved one of the milkshakes. I don't really like one type of milkshake. Banana. What? Oh, that's what your dad used to <laughs> Because you said your dad. Ebony, you know it is not just. Mm. Well, oh, I think it's okay. Oh my God, we forgot we not at home. <laughs> just driving. Road closed in a thousand feet. Now I think this road is closed. She does this all the time. She's not doing anything on that phone. She's just not. I was waiting for you to come back from the bathroom. And, um, I'm always trying to get so many artists. shots. You weren't saying anything. It's just a vlog. You weren't saying where we were at, so I was like... You didn't ask. Thought you would have just started talking. Anyway, we're at Waffle House. Usually people get a camera pointed at them. And just start Usually talking. people what? When the camera's pointed at them. Oh, you post, you're supposed to like... No. Ask no. a question. No. This isn't an interview. This is not an interview. Tell... <laughs> Please tell her that you don't want to hear an interview every time. You just want her to be. That's why we like you, Ebony, because you just be here. Yeah, yeah. All right, so stop doing what everybody else is doing. Like yeah, right. Sure. Where I walk the house, and I've been waiting to come here since the last time we were at a Waffle House this summer. Because I never, my first time going to Waffle House was this summer. So everyone thinks I'm crazy. Like, even after, you know, I never went. But I never went. Nobody, I mean, I knew about it, but no one really pressed me out to go. So I just didn't think I was missing the whole night. Plus, I like pancakes better. But these waffles from Waffle House are better than pancakes. So what'd you get? The all-star with bacon and sausage. Because I like the sausage a lot. But someone else told me I need to try to eat it. I'm gonna try them both. Something tells me she's gonna be mad about this bacon. Well, I think it's gonna be good. Yeah, She's so picky with bacon. But we'll see in two seconds. These are my sisters. Shavai and Larita. <laughs> Larita. Yeah, That's my name. She's okay. trying to put lashes on. Don't laugh at me. She put the lash on and started. I can't see. Is it supposed to be like this? <laughs> Shut up. All this to go eat some. Oh, well, I would say eat some turkey, but somebody is. I a don't eat meat. Pescatarian. <laughs> I'm not even pescatarian because I only eat it when I want it, mm. which is not often. Edit all that I out. I want to stretch my eyes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, you got a little blue. <laughs> Hi. Introduce yourself. Um, Auntie. Go ahead. You asked. I'm, I'm Janaya. What? <laughs> how old are you, Janaya? 11. Um, I'm Tiana. How old are you? I'm 13 and I'm 5'2. You said, how, you said how old you were, Janaya? 11. Okay, these are two of my nieces. And she's like 5'7". No, I'm 5'5 five, five and a half. And she's only 11, and I'm 13, and she's taller than me. But that's not the point. Um, <laughs> you, you Today, can, we are doing a daily vlog. Um, You can put my Instagram in it. You put your own Instagram. Oh, you y'all can, can go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And you can Whenever she get off punishment. At, I'm not on punishment. My phone's broke. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Follow, Follow me on Instagram. And follow at, me on Musically at Siana Spell with it. six A's, C I A N A A A A A A. Six A's. It'll be in the description down below. Yeah. All right, Janaya, go ahead. Follow me on Musically. <laughs> What's your name on there? Um, it's famous. I do know. It's <laughs> famous Naya. Well, famous is with a zero, and Naya. Has three A's. What's your name? Say your name. Pina. And what's your what's your real name? Malia. Malia. And how old are you, Malia? Girl, focus. <laughs> how old are you? Three. Three. And why do people call you Peanut? Because. Because what? I'm small. I'm small. <laughs> <laughs> 
what's today? What are we gonna celebrate today? Okay, that's enough. <laughs> So, who are you? You're not super salty, but they just look like <laughs> 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 Is that a picture? Look at me. Tell them who you are. Oh. Uh, what are you doing now? Are you filming it? Oh, uh, are you going to edit this? Because I don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. No, no, no. I'm Ebony's mommy. And, and Lex's mommy. Who? Me. Oh, stop! Why do you keep doing this? Cause I'm gonna fire you. You okay. see, they are twins. They both get mad at me the same way, <laughs> and they laugh the same. It's kind of crazy for real. Look, she's trying not to laugh. You gonna catch it? They both gonna laugh. You gonna be like, "Who's laughing?" What? Go ahead, Evan. Anyway, uh, you don't want to. <laughs> Yeah, I would do like family reunions and um, 
trip, my mom loves going to the beach, stuff like that. So, yeah, I just haven't been to North Carolina in forever. Like, it's actually in Fayetteville, North Carolina. If you're wondering, you gotta go back home now, back to real life. But it, it was good. Thanksgiving was good. And, um... You gotta go to different houses. Yeah, we had two, two Thanksgiving uh, dinners. <laughs> Which is not even something that's, like, I usually do. Because... When I'm at home in Maryland, it's like one dinner, that's it. So it was nice to like kind of house hop a little bit and see people I have not seen in forever. Did you have anything? Nah, it was fun. It was fun. Did you get uh, footage of Peanut doing the ping pong wall? Yeah, I got That might be the funniest thing I saw the whole time. Oh, with the ping pong wall. Oh, it's <laughs> on the face, boy. It's on the face. Uh. <laughs> you ain't got no more chains. You got the grapefruit. Girl. Yeah, that, that little girl, she's a trip. Beside Peanut doing her little penguin walk, what was your favorite part of the trip? That was it. That was it. How can I say my favorite part and then you'd be like, besides your favorite part, what's your favorite part? Well, you said that was one of the things that you, that That's my was favorite. really funny to you. I said that was my favorite. I like debating with my cousin Natalie. She is hilarious. Like she's a die-hard debate, like debating argument type of person. But she she's good at it because you don't feel like you know she don't come for you. She don't make you feel like she's trying to make you feel stupid or anything like that. So it's a lot of fun talking about stuff with her. Well, anyways, we were talking about Housewives of Atlanta and how Portia is only giving her sister 15 percent of that hair salon business. And you would have thought we were talking about people we knew, like a real situation, something that was affecting our lives. But anyway, she claims that- uh, You wanna set aside? You're about to lose some fans. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, no, because- All them, all them people who fans of the other person, they gonna be happy. Well- Let's just say they had listen, about it. It was very constructive. Let me, first, uh, let me first say this. I like Portia, just like- We all like Portia. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not a hater. I like her. I definitely think she has her moments. But, for, you know, but overall, I'm a fan of hers. But I really don't think it's right to only give her sister 15% of that business. Like, don't argue it because Natalie's not here to argue her. She's point. not, but I will argue her point for her. And you can, and you can, you know, make sure I, I tell her right. My cousin was saying that she's getting 15% of something that she does have that she doesn't have anything to do with. Portia is a celebrity. She's putting the money up. Lauren should be happy that her sister is giving her 15%. Like, what owner or what manager do you know, since we discussed that Lauren would probably be managing the day-to-day -day, um, operations of the salon, like, what manager do you know is going to get 15% of the company's profits, period? You just don't get that. And I said, well, all that is very true, but you have to remember that Portia is telling her sister she's going to be a co-owner. So when people hear coat anything, you think More half or a large portion at the least. People you don't splits think, are at least close. Yeah, you don't think 15% anywhere in the teens, period. Like 15 and I'm your sister. Like I, I just don't understand that. But anyways. I said the reason why she should be getting more is because she's given her the title of co-owner and Lauren will probably be the one doing all the day-to-day -day managing of, you know, what a salon needs, hiring the staff, making sure they have what they need, firing the staff, keeping the clients, you know, satisfied, coming up with marketing plans, See, this sales, what I was talking deals, about. You're going super hard for your side right now. Because that, no, only yeah. thing, Natalie. That was all she had. All right, but that all was, I'm saying is, Portia's a celebrity. For the Portia Lauren fans, ain't doing nothing. She should she be happy. She one sided. Get her. Shut up. <laughs> Get her. Nah, but I, I'm with I'm with Ebony though. I don't, yeah. Fifteen percent is crazy. And then and the whole thing is, and I'm giving you that because you're my sister. If it was anyone else, you know, they wouldn't even be getting that. And I'm like, not as a co-owner, they would be getting close to or at least half as a co any like co-owner co-founder anything like that you get at almost half or close to that to me it would make more sense if it was already the business was already solidified she didn't need her sister to be involved and she's just throwing her bone like, that's one thing if it's already good but if your sister's really helping build like, yes. from the ground up mind you i don't know too much so i'm not really in the well yeah i mean he was coming from the perspective of since he's a business owner himself, he knows what it takes to maintain the life of a company 
throughout the day, throughout the week, not just when it's time to pay a bill. And, and when you want it to grow and not yes. be a one. And you need people with you that are gonna do right by you. And everyone's like, that's her sister. She's gonna, um, so what? That, that's her sister, she should be happy. And I'm like, yes, she's her sister. So she should be taken into consideration that on top of everything else, I can trust her. She's um, done a good job in these other areas that I've given her responsibility in. Like, there's so many things that trust is a, such a big deal. Like the reason why Alex's company works well because he has a business partner that he trusts. They have a really good working relationship at the their business place of business and personally. Like people take that type of stuff for granted. Mm -hmm. By the way, Alyssa, if you're watching, I never do dirty like that. <laughs> I would never. So, anyways. Um, yeah, I just think that people forget, like, yeah, I'm your family, but that should mean I should get better treatment than what somebody, because I, I could just get anybody. If you ain't going to do it, then I get somebody. Yeah, and that person can steal from you. They don't prioritize your business the way you would like them to because they're not your family. They don't care. So anyways, that's my take on the whole thing. Her argument still was that other people could do that, or your family can do that too, too. And yes, your family can definitely screw you over. But the thing that I like about the situation with Portia and Lauren is her sister has already proven herself to be pretty good at being an employee that's also her family. Like, All right, she's... we gave them too much time. <laughs> we gave them way too much time. <laughs> Natalie is a great person to argue with, though. It's the more of a story. Yes, because she keeps you laughing in the midst of everything. And she will give you your um, credit when credit yeah. is due. So I enjoyed that. So I think that was probably my favorite part was debating different stuff with her. But that conversation, that was like the biggest one because it somehow started yesterday. And then I saw her again today. And we were all sitting around the table again talking about <laughs> Dag one Real Housewives of Atlanta. But I can't help it. I love the show. She loves it. And it was definitely better than talking about any political craziness that's going on right now. But anyways, I think we're taking that. Or maybe, or maybe, or say, maybe, so <laughs> maybe I'll talk to Alex. I'll talk, I'll talk to Alex and keep him away. So, but yeah, and this might actually also be the end of the vlog too, because I don't think we're gonna have a chance to vlog later. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope everyone had a really good Thanksgiving, and everyone is surviving or did survive Black Friday. Let me know what you guys. Um, went shopping for if you did any black friday shopping if you find any good hair product deals or electronics i don't know i'm still thinking about um the camera the g37 i keep saying g37 like freaking infinity um the canon g7x um the second one i'm thinking of getting that one but the reviews that i've been seeing everyone's saying it's a really really good camera but um the audio quality is kind of weird or something so i don't know we'll see it's really it's, i think it's on sale right now or at least they have a good bundle deal on amazon that i'm looking at i don't know i really like this camera this is a sony a5100 by the way but yeah anyways i will see you guys or we will see you guys yep. in the next vlog bye